Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike here, Mike's Weather Page, and Louie. Louie's just waking up. <laughs> as, I, as I said, um, we're going to talk about the tropics. Uh, so thanks for coming over here to Mike's Weather Page on YouTube. We appreciate all the new subscribers. Mm -hmm. And um, nice to see the page growing. It means a lot to me. Uh, but we got we got something to talk about. Something I, you know, you, I got a gut feeling on this uh system that we're, we've been watching here the last couple of days uh season was way too slow for for too long and uh we got something to talk about brewing in the caribbean next week so let me show you kind of what's happened overnight with the models and then we're going to do our daily brew at 919 uh and then i'll do another one later today but the nhc ramping up their their predictions already to 40 percent orange the uh the wave that we're watching is this guy right here and, and uh this is on weather nerds but man look at it it's really it's at above me it's above me right now also you can still see major hurricane fiona uh up there uh the turks and caicos right now but uh this little blob of convection has really you don't want to say blown up because there's not really the circulation yet but it's very juicy conditions are very uh favorable for development and this is this is way more convection than yesterday so we're watching it close very close um things we watch this time of year this ocean heat content is just extremely warm the warmest of the whole season usually usually this pattern is more october but we've been talking about these tr uh trends with uh, our fronts coming down a little earlier this year so we're seeing more of an october style pattern with stuff brewing down in the caribbean is the likelihood of anything to watch close uh, but it's entering a very favorable area as far as light wind shear we have an enhanced phase of the mjo upper level winds with because of la nina or, or less so and this ocean heat content's really warm so this is part part the reason we're really watching this wave as it enters the caribbean and, and uh time would be next week uh some of the latest ensembles here this is your overnight uh ensembles here from the euro the reason we watch ensembles and not individual runs there are some pretty scary individual runs right now out there with the GFS and Euro, but the, they're going to bounce around. Anything, you know, three, four, five days out, every run's going to be a little different. So, you you know, you see one from Tampa, then you see one from Louisiana, or you see one from, you know, Panhandle. Every six hours, there's going to be a little different spot. But if you look at the ensembles, you at least get a, a general gut feeling of what's happening with the atmosphere, upper-level winds. It's all about the upper-level winds with steering uh, so what we're seeing is the normal pull up from the Caribbean, a weakness, and uh, you know a lot of these members are pulling up. This is the 30th of next week, so we can start to see, you know, the 28th. That's just a week plus from now uh, that we can see some of these turn a little closer, possibly to Florida. Who knows? Um, but the general trend with the euro has been pulling up, and that's quite a few, not just a couple, quite a few, and this has been consistent enough to talk about. Uh, Another model that I show a lot is the blend of colors, and we've seen a lot more tropical storm blues. We didn't see this much at all two days ago. We did today, yesterday a little bit, today a lot. So confidence is increasing uh, on the on the Euro of, of even a potential hurricane. Obviously, now on on, on this part of the Gulf of Mexico, um, that's the trends. Some of these these are kind of a little different way to look at things. These are all your different individual members, but you just get an idea of the Euro. You know what it's thinking eventually a pull up you know this time of year texas sometimes is safe because of approaching fronts but you can see the general pull up this is next thursday we you know again we could see something as 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 uh close as next tuesday some of these could be speeding up um but the majority of them are of course pulling up and uh, leaving pretty much all interest in the gulf watching the gfs same type of model run here as we get into next week. This is next Monday. We can start to see something even brewing a week from Monday, and then it kind of pulls up. And the G, uh, GFS is trending a little bit more curve up into Florida. So, again, confidence is low as far as exact track this far out. But we know the conditions are very favorable. Everybody's watching it now. Um, and, you know, history kind of tells us this is where we got to watch this is an october october style setup here later september that we've been talking a lot about here on our brew crew and our daily brew um and i got my eye on it so we'll see we'll uh we have to watch every model run see trends again it's a week out that we can start to see stuff 
potentially nearing the Gulf. It's not that far away. Um, but in the short term, you watch watch it in real time. This is what it looks like. The NHC has got a new update here. Uh, 8 o'clock and 2 o'clock, they update it. Um, and we're going to see what happens. So there's the latest. Keep an eye on it, Caribbean and uh, Gulf of Mexico. But as always, I'll stay stay tuned to it. Just keep, keep it right here on YouTube uh, for updates. We'll do another one this afternoon on the day's progression. I usually do an afternoon model after the 12Z models come out, which is around 2 o'clock. Wait for the Euro Ensembles, which is around 3 o'clock. So I try to get one up by 5 o'clock. So we'll have our next update here on YouTube around 5 o'clock. Okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.